I think that their, their tandem is going to be spectacular. What does it mean to have a guy who's seven feet tall and pass like that? I mean, Mike thought that uh, Powell is about as good a passing big guy as we've had in the league since maybe Sabonis or something like that. I don't know if you remember. I remember some of it just opens up the door for everybody. I mean, uh, you know, especially the type of offense we're going to be running where there's backdoor cuts and, and there's reads involved. You kind of need a, guy, a big guy like that. And so he, he's going to really, at times, kind of be like the point guard out there. He's going to have the ball in his hands and he's going to be a decision maker. You know, just, if you couldn't do that, you know, it would kind of change the dynamic of what we're actually running. Steven's past few days of practice, how's everything going for you? Very good, very good. No pain in my heel. Things feel good, so it's been fun. This is earlier than expected. Was there anything you attribute to, to being able to return as quickly as you have? Well, training staff, you know, really helped me out with the certain treatments that I did, and, and my wife gave me the opportunity to just lay around and get off my foot. <laughs> it always helps, you know, and so... She took care of everything else for Yeah, absolutely. So, all, all of that factors in. <laughs> well, so, so were you just, like, getting fed ice cream for that time? Or I wish. That? No, that's... <laughs> Uh, but she, she took care of me and uh, you know, the training staff here took care of me and everyone did what they were supposed to do to try to get me on track. Yeah, yesterday Mike was kind of describing you as tough as nails. I mean, just what's been your mindset and approach of just that had to be painful, I imagine, but just bouncing back from there and getting back to normal. Well, if you're out on the court, you, yeah. you know, might as well go out and go all out. Right. There's no sense in holding back. Um, so every time I'm out there, I just try to compete hard and you know, do what I always do. See on the board, he made 22 three pointers in a row. Oh, yeah, that someone mentioned that. that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm yeah, sorry. No, it was, yeah, it was earlier in the summer. Earlier in the summer, just uh, <laughs> working out with Phil Handy and you know, got hot and made some shots. Yeah. So what was going on that time as far as just your rhythm and oh, your catch and shoot, focus. You know, you get in the zone. And just let them fly. Is your guys like challenging to try to? I think everyone's been trying to top it. I've even been trying to be myself. But it hasn't happened yet, so we'll see. Yeah. So I know you're obviously a team guy. You know, just covering the past few years. But Mike's mentioned that he's kind of opening up. Chris Sparks, Peter Perman. Just what's your overall approach? With just distinguishing yourself. And Same as always. Same team. approach as always. Yeah. Compete hard. Play hard. Um, do everything I can for the team. That's it. Um, yeah. You know, that's, and everything else is left up to coach. I'm gonna play my best, play my hardest, and leave it up to him. Yeah. So Steve was talking to Steve Nash, talking about you know having you and Chris out in Phoenix. You yep. kind of get out of that experience. No, just, just to get to know each other. You know, get comfortable with each other, play yeah. basketball. You know, get out there and work out. You know. It's fun to be out in the court with guys that you want to be on, you know, be on the same team with. So, right. you know, just kind of got the process of getting to know each other better early. Right. I know you're saying earlier, like, given just how accomplished Nash is as a point guard, that you're even looking forward to learning things from him. I mean, I know it's obviously just been the off season, the first few days of training camps. But there any nuances you've picked up from him, to see him out on the um, floor, or just anything he's talked about? You know, I just kind of try to watch to see how see how he moves. You yeah. know, he's. Um, you know, how he comes off pick and rolls and you know, gets low and handles the basketball and you know what see what he's looking at when he comes off pick and rolls so I'm just constantly trying to just observe and be aware and, and, and hopefully I, I can kind of emulate those things and, and help, it'll help me out right yeah. last thing uh, which kind of leadership style do you notice you have in these few days of training camp? Um, I mean mostly by example I mean you know I definitely uh, Looks like he'll speak up if he has a question or something like that. But I think just with, he leads with his style of play, right. you know, passing and getting everyone involved. And so I think that's how he leads so far.